guys indigo eclipse here and i wanted to talk about something that is near and dear to me um i've been i've, I've probably talked about this before and i'll probably talk about it many times um, i want to end the stigma of needing psychological help and being spiritual i i just came across a post the other day yesterday and um it, it blows my mind um as being spiritual, I, I don't see how we have the right to call others not spiritual. I, I don't understand this. We're all on our own journeys, and we're all at different points, and what works for one person doesn't work for another, and that's fine. But um, it's, it's I, I try to be all love and light and, you know, not let it bother me, but I want you guys to know that if you need psychological help, there is no shame in that. Um, I, I had read a post about someone asking, you know, basically it, who all uses, needs psychological medication um, and can still manifest and stuff. And I commented, you know, because it's true, I can. Um, and I do use medication still at this point in my life. It's necessary. But there were a lot of mean comments such as, um, this one really got me. I did not respond because I didn't want to open that can of worms I didn't see there would be any point in responding but anyway it was essentially stating that you cannot be spiritual and take medication um, you either heal yourself by being spiritual or you heal yourself by medication you can't do both and the person went as far as to say um, you can heal your your brain without medication it's not like when you break your leg and needed to go to, need to go to a doctor to be healed. And I kind of thought to myself, um, why is it that we can are supposed to be able to heal our brain without medication, but you do need to go to a doctor to heal your broken leg? I, I don't understand what that means. Um, your brain is a part of your physical body. Okay, and granted, there are some people who have made it without medication, and I commend them. Congratulations to you. You know, that is a fantastic thing. I hope to get to that point someday. But at this point in my, t my life, I need it. Um, you know, I don't want to list all of my illnesses, but I have quite a few illnesses linked to traumatic childhood experiences. And um, when, when you have trauma, it literally chemically alters your brain. It is a physical injury to your brain and the production of chemicals. There is a difference between, you know, having a bad day and being upset and thinking you need a medication and not being able to think properly, always feeling like you want to kill yourself. You know, I try to keep this page love and light, but we need to talk about this. Unless you have been in that situation Please try not to judge other people. Even if you have been in that situation, try you. You can relate. Like, don't judge people. You are not more spiritual because you don't use this chemical or you use this other chemical. You know, uh, one of the arguments was, well, this natural chemical is fine because it's natural, but this artificial chemical is not okay because it's artificial. You know, and I'm, I've heard of the placebo effect. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just speaking from my experience. And maybe it is a placebo effect. Maybe the medication isn't helping me. Maybe I just think it, it does. But if I just think it's helping me and I feel like it's helping me, then therefore it's helping me, right? Um, I'm, I'm rambling off, but I'm just really quite disappointed in some of the lack of support on these communities. Um... You know, we all need to do what we need to do for our physical bodies. Um, you know, you don't shame a, a diabetic for taking their medication. You don't shame a, um, somebody who has seizures for taking their medication. Why is it acceptable to shame somebody with mental illness for taking their medication? I'd rather see somebody with mental illness taking their medication than taking their life. So when you come across people who are spiritual and need medication because they have physical illnesses, 
be more compassionate. Maybe stop and think what it would be like to be in their shoes. Sometimes it's hard if you haven't been through it to relate, to understand where that person's coming from. Maybe if you don't know what it's like to be there, maybe you shouldn't say anything. Maybe you should just wish them love and light. I don't understand why we still think it's acceptable to judge people. And I hope this post, this video doesn't come off as I'm judging that person. I, you know, I don't know what that person's going through in their life. Those people. I'm not judging those people. I'm judging the reaction. And the saying you're spiritual, but you're responding very negatively to other people. And I think instead of responding negatively to other people, you need to do a little more work on yourself. So this is rambled off, but the gist of it is quit judging each other, support each other. It takes less energy and it feels much better to support one another, to encourage them. You know, you don't like seeing people take medication. Well, maybe encourage them, maybe not chew them out and make them feel worse. Maybe inspire them. Maybe them, maybe tell them, you know, good job. You're doing what you need to do for you. You know, that's, that's all you got to do. Quit being rude. All right, guys, I'm rambling it. Love and light. Stop being mean to each other. You spread the love and the light.